Yeah. So what, what is it like buying in um, this super low cap rate, highly competitive market, especially in the Carolinas? Yeah, it's um, and I can tell you um, the deal prior to that, uh, we entered in a contract March 2021. Uh, so the deal that closed in December, we entered in a contract, say, about October 2021. And as you well know, uh, prices have continued to go up for assets over that time in that six, seven month period. Uh, so uh, the December purchase was at about a four and a half entry cap where the, the earlier spring of 2021 uh, acquisition was at about a 5-2 entry cap. So in a period of about eight months, the, the, the cap rates dropped about 0.5. Uh, the second property's in a little bit better location. It's a good high B. The other one was kind of a C plus, B minus, and so there might be some factors there. Um, so... Clearly, in low cap rate environments, it's hard to find properties that throw off a really high cash on cash return out of the gate. So what I try to look for are areas and or properties where one with the properties, we can operate them a little better, cut down on vacancy, cut down on some expenses, get the rents up. Uh, in the, the earlier 2021 deal, uh, the current owner didn't provide washer dryers, stack washer dryers for the units. Uh, we've put them in now, every unit we renovate, the hookups were already there. So it, it was built that way, but the owner didn't supply it. And we got an easy $100 a month bump from putting in a $1,200 stack washer dryer. So one, look for properties that you can increase the income by operation. And then I think the other thing, I'm kind of an old school, long-term guy, meaning buy real estate, let time and appreciation and inflation win the day for you. So I think if you buy in good growth areas, you're also going to benefit from that. So cash flow may not be huge year one, year two, while you kind of get control of the building, the property, make it run better. Uh, but when you do, you get some value there. And then if you're in the right area, the long-term dynamics are good. And three, four years later, you now have a really nicely performing property which is increased in value. And you can either hold it and continue to operate it or take advantage of the increased market value and move on to a different project or a bigger property. So uh, competitive, I think expectation levels have to be set. And uh, my own sense is multifamily has had a phenomenal run of seven, eight years. Uh, my own sense is Multifamily is still going to do very well. I just don't know that we're going to quite get the same bump we did the last five to seven and the next five to seven. So I think investors have to temper expectations a little bit and operators have to be realistic with that. Um, and so I think in my experience in dealing with people, if you set proper expectations and you exceed them, they're happy. So that's what we try to do. Gotcha.